Hi everyone, in this labcast we are going to talk about the one of the new features on Windows 2012 which is called as data deduplication option, which is a window feature. My name is Susan Silva and I'm an MVP on virtual machine. So this uh, data deduplication is not a new uh, option uh, for whoever knows about the sto Windows storage systems and technologies. You might be already familiar with that one. Uh, for for you all like who is not new to this one, like data deduplication is an option which is going to provide you the capability of eliminating the redundant data within your uh, storage environment. So what that means is sim in, in a simple term, if you have du duplicated uh, data in your file server or it can be in your databases, this technology will identify duplicated items and going to remove them and keep a link uh, to that relevant location saying this data is duplicated if you want to read it from over here take it from the master place so in, in, in that manner like you can save a huge amount of data we will talk about that one we are on our way to this presentation now moving forwards the data deduplication feature is a new one for the windows 2012 which is previously called as windows uh, 8 so this is only available at the moment windows 2012 and it's a cluster everywhere technology uh, but currently Microsoft is not supporting uh, this feature on the system volumes uh, and it really makes sense because th uh, this is a feature which will take a certain level of CPU uh, and uh, processor uh, sorry CPU and the memory utilization but again like for a booting volume applying this might, might uh, give a performance degradation so currently they are not supporting this one for the system volumes but this is mainly intended for the data storage volumes and uh, one of the I would say like uh, I, I'm not uh, that much happy about this feature which is not the duplication is not working with NTFS uh, encrypted files which, uh, and the compressed files so EFS is not supporting and uh, the duplicate requires an NTFS file system and again it is not functioning with the latest file system introduced by Windows 2012 which is called as REFS redistributed file system and CSV is not aware uh, I really really hope that Microsoft will sort out this problem I mean this uh, lacking part of like cluster shared volume is not supported because in Hyper-V virtualization environment we highly regard about the cluster shared volume um, and th this uh, seems like Windows 2012 is not officially launched yet for the market we, we really assume on the last minute Microsoft will have a plan for this one and this is not configurable through the group policy which is quite okay at this stage because Windows 8 is more towards like centralized management of many servers I don't see a uh, big issue about this one at, at this stage and it is a post process deduplication process what that means is uh, once the data has been saved into the storage environment when that particular server is free in the background it will run the deduplication process which is quite okay at this stage uh, if you look at the deduplication uh, option there are two actually one will be the uh, source level and one will be the target level so this Microsoft uh, option will be fo uh, falling on to the later part which is called post process deduplication or as we call it target le level so the other one is actually source level before data send it to the uh, target it will be uh, compressed and deduplicated which is not available at this stage Still, I would say that's not a big issue. Still, this option really, really great feature. And the Windows caching is deduplication aware, which is another good feature. Now, why we use deduplication? Number one, I would say mainly actually display storage saving. Now, uh, as I mentioned in my uh, initial slide, whoever knows about the storage system will be well aware about this one. That's a huge cost saving when you try to deduplicate and save on the storage because sand storage are really expensive now actually with this uh, deduplication feature for the Microsoft introduced with Windows 2012 even the uh, SME uh, market uh, and the entry level market uh, servers also will go to support it natively so this is a really good uh, option actually introduced by Microsoft and the other one would be bandwidth optimization when you are doing storage replication uh, having this data deduplication will compress the data and the number amount of data has to be replicated for the 
the target part will be uh, reduced which is I find really uh, quite a good option considering the Microsoft uh, one of the option they introduced with Windows 8 or Windows 2012 is called for the Hyper-V storage migration so with the SMB file system integrated uh, level where we can keep the VHD files on the SMB file shares and providing this deduplication feature uh, we would be able to provide low cost data replication technology with the native tools available on Windows 2012 which is really a good move actually from Microsoft point so the next question is what are the applications or services I can use for the data due duplication feature so I went through the typical color coding mechanism where everyone would be understanding green means like quite okay and highly recommended so folder redirection volumes virtualization default that means over here my meaning is actually not the VHD files we are frequently using but uh, reference image VHD files uh, or else like VMM library images and ISO files for the software deployment SCCM volumes where they keep the references uh, images and ISO files SQL and exchange data backup volumes where those are like huge data where you will be really going to do a substantial cost saving on the storage side now LOB servers, web servers and high performance computers these are at the moment less concern but knowing their functionality how it functions within your organization you can actually work on them because there are certain LOB servers which data change will be not happening frequently it will be happening on the back uh, Data, background a SQL database Oracle database web servers will be having static contents and high performance computing uh, depend on your environment you might be able to enable the data deduplication option uh, on these particular servers so Hyper-V host VDI scenarios uh, Windows software update services SQL or exchange service and any server that is happening data uh, changing data box keep on changing frequently is not recommended for the deduplication. This is a high level uh, uh, picture about talking how the data deduplication will be happening in a graphical overview. As you can see over here in the file 1 and file 2, we have similar data blocks. ABC is common for both files, but only differentiate files will be M and N and X and Y, which is unique for each file. So what happens is in data deduplication uh, engine, uh, the common data, they will be put it to the blocks, common take as common blocks and give the replace. As you can see over here, the links are for the ABC uh, data blocks has been linked by for the file 1 and file 2. But for the X and Y, it will be only linked to the file 1 and M and N is only linked for the file 2 because those are unique for each of these documents but the common one will be given the uh, hard links for the board document in this manner we are going to eliminate duplicating of the common data so this is very high level architecture about uh, talking about the uh, uh, data duplication process in this one we are going to go a little bit more and have a look at uh, how really it happens so the data duplication field driver will be looking at the data and taking the data chunks and then store them in two different locations so whenever the file relevant file comes it will be reading the regular storage area and then reading the uh, chunk store area and then make the file use in the file metadata and then represent to the end user so this is a very high level picture again now again uh, we talk about in initially about the deduplication feature on the uh, windows 8 i mentioned the word post process dedupe mode the reason as I mentioned because this is happening in the background and you can schedule that task whenever you feel like the server is not in the uh, highly utilized mode so depending on your type of data the administrator would be able to take an uh, internet decision when he wants to uh, enable this uh, deduplication feature to run in the background so here I have typical two links which is on the technet where they talk about the uh, data deduplication feature on Windows 8 in the great level and I got a Windows IT Pro uh, link which talk about uh, Windows uh, 8 storage feature as well so now we will get back to the 
real work of like having the how to set up the data deduplication uh, feature so for all this process I'm going to use the PowerShell so before that I'm going to uh, show you like how my system has been set up for the demonstration I have created 20 GB volume uh, and then put two EHT files which is occupied nearly like 15.7 GB of data so those are the two uh, VHD files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Windows uh, data uh, sorry data deduplication feature and then enable it to the volume E and then we'll have a look at it how that going to save the uh, storage uh, utilization from this uh, feature. So to start it, I'll open the uh, Windows PowerShell and try to load the mod relevant modules. First, I'll go ahead and try to add this uh, particular Windows feature. Windows feature, and the name goes as FS Data Deduplication. Now we will try to go ahead and if you really want to look at it like what are the other commands available on uh, uh, this particular data deduplication in PowerShell you can type help deduke and you will get the relevant commands over here. So I will try to go ahead and try to enable the data deduplication. Now I'll try the relevant. So this will actually going to enable the data deduplication for the volume E, and then I'm going to type the command to uh, a, a compress or we call it the duplic deduplication feature enable for all the data without a stage limit. So I'm going to type the command again: get dedupl volume target volume is E Again, the command should be set T to volume target volume is E, and the minimum file edge test for this one is zero. So, then I'm going to take all the data in the volume to the deduplication process. And now the job is actually running in the background. Any given time, we can have a look at it by typing get dedup status. So you can see at the moment like uh, there are two volumes actually I have enabled but the particular one I am looking at the volume on the E1. So we can type again get T2 chop. So this will take a little bit time in the meantime I will try to take you and have a look at it uh, uh, for, for this particular volume. So currently this is 15.7 GB as I mentioned by the time it goes on once we enable this one it will take a little bit time to start this data deduplication process and then a uh, short while we will be able to see uh, about the compression ratio. So I will pause the video and come back to all once uh, this one is almost completed to a certain age. So the process is running in the background still in the meantime uh, I just uh, went ahead and enable the uh, resource monitor so we can have a look at it what's happening in the background as you can see on the disk area there is activity going on and you can see over here in the graph as well and uh, if I open the my computer and try to refresh the screen you can see at the moment the amount of data utilized the storage utilization on this uh, e-volume keep on reducing 
so it has been now increased the free space and decreased the used store storage space and over here at the moment if I look at the dedupe status it's not it's not updated yet but it's if I look at carefully you can see if I type the get dedupe volume you can see like it's giving you an indication uh, this has been enabled on the volume E and the saved space is 14.07 GP and once this completes the substantial saving ratio will be nearly 81 percent so th this would be actually happen uh, this will not happen initially when you do this uh, enable this feature and try to run it since uh, in uh, previously I have already done this one for this particular lab environment it remembers the calculation and from out of that one it's showing you the substantial storage saving it can uh, provide us so if I look at back on the refresh in the screen in my computer you can see now the amount of free space keep on growing and uh, the amount of data utilized on the disk keep on uh, reducing one by one over here as I mentioned like uh, when you enable this one to a volume which is having substantial amount of data it will take quite a lot of time so this is why it is recommended to schedule in uh, out of office hours or, or where the service is not utilizing uh, extensively by the end users so again I will be back once this entire process is completed ok we are back now when you look at the uh, disk activity on the resource mode you can see now that this activity has been reduced so now if we try to go back to the power shell there is nothing at the moment it is clearly showing the saving environment now if I go to the my computer and refresh it and have a look at the volume I can see now it has only utilizing 3.43 GP and 16 GP has been freed so but when you look at the file size it will be showing you the actual size of the file but the utilization of the disk storage is substantially reduced so you can see like uh, data deduplication is a great feature where you will be able to uh, save a lot of uh, storage and especially this will be a good feature that Microsoft come up with right on time because the amount of data when you try to go with the uh, virtualization and private cloud solutions the amount of data that you are consolidating into centralized area keep on growing and it never stops now IDC predict it is like 60% substantial growth will be happening when you compare with each year so this will be I would say a really good startup and really going to help you a lot on your way when you're managing the data and same time try to reduce the cost. I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.